Hey friends, welcome to Buckshot Roulette. By the time I'm recording this, this game has already gotten really popular on platforms like TikTok and YouTube, so I am by no means discovering something relatively unknown. Still, I figured, why don't we take a crack at it? As I understand it, the experience is kind of like Russian Roulette, but with a shotgun instead of a revolver. Now, what that will mean for the actual gameplay, I don't know. I've kept myself relatively blind on this experience, because of course I wanted to have a fresh experience with you guys. And actually, speaking of experiences, I wanted to discuss that topic with you guys before we get started. This year, I'm trying to live my life in a way where I value experiences more. And what I mean by that is, if you have a remarkable experience with someone, that alone is more valuable than a physical or material thing. For example, traveling and going on a trip is not a waste of money just because you don't get anything physical from it, if that makes sense. I don't know, I guess I've always had this idea that the things you save your money up for should be able to, like, service you or benefit you in some way in your day to day. But really, time is the most precious thing we have, right? So, truth be told, I've kind of always had it all backwards, in a way. It's really the experiences, even if they are expensive, that are the worthwhile things. And really, it's not like you're not left with anything after it's all said and done. You've created memories with people that you care about. And what's more important than that? Like, right now. This moment that we're sharing together. We're creating memories. Hopefully, we can create a lot more memories this year. I love you guys, and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is Buckshot Roulette. And here we go. Apparently, this game takes place at the top floor of an underground nightclub. Not sure what that entails, but... Oh. And I guess we're in the bathroom. Mysterious pills on the counter interact with... Oh, is this like a point and click? Okay, there's soap. Uh, the word afraid. This is a really grungy bathroom. And um, I don't know if I've been in a bathroom quite this disgusting. This looks like a, you know, unattended gas station bathroom. But I've definitely been to uh, a few clubs and the bathrooms definitely are not the best. Let's see, there are mysterious prescription pill bottles here. I guess the only thing I can interact with is the door. Can't move. Okay, here we go. I didn't expect this part. There's a guy just looking around. Music's definitely kind of loud. Doesn't seem... Please sign the waiver. The waiver? The animations are really good. Enter our name. Big... Game? Eh, we'll just do... We'll do BG. That's fine. So, what is this, like, level one? One live round and two blanks. This reminds me a lot of, um, what was that one game that came out a couple of years ago? It was this awesome indie game where you got to, like, create a deck of cards. Oh, Inscription. Brilliant, brilliant game. This reminds me a lot about that. Um, obviously the perspective, too, but the idea of this, like, kind of a twisted game. Okay, so they're going to ease us into the rules, but I'm kind of wondering, what kind of a nightclub is this? There was a waiver form. Does he work here? I don't know. Shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. Oh. Well, my best odds are to go for myself because there are two blanks and one live round, so I guess we're going to click me. blank. Cool. I love the little detail of the gun shaking in your hands. And I also like that they show the blank on the table. Um, so now what do I do? Do I go again? I'll shoot the dealer. Damn. Now he's gonna shoot me. They brought me back to life? 
careful now. Three live rounds and two blanks. So I don't get it. Is it just purely a game of chance? They enter the chamber in a hidden sequence. And is there still the live round from last time? Wow, that is nerve-wracking. So can I, like, skip my turn? I'm gonna go for the dealer. We got him! Man, he tanked that shot. Let's go! So is he... Dead? BG wins! Alright, round two. This is a very interesting concept for a game. Let's make this a little more interesting. It seems purely a game of chance. Two items each. More items before every load. Okay. A can of beer? And... Cigarettes? One live round, one blank. 50-50. Wait, what items did he get? He got a machete and handcuffs. I got a cigarette pack, takes the edge off, regain one charge. Beer. You rack the shotgun, ends round on last shell. Um... I guess it's just a 50-50? We'll go with the dealer. Well, I'm taking damage. <laughs> what an interesting concept for a game. And... Sawed off. What is that, two? Is that gonna do two? Yeah, two. Okay, well... Um... One thing I really enjoy about this game, though, is that it's not just a cool concept. They've gone above and beyond in terms of polish, like the, you know, just the atmosphere of the grungy area that we're sitting in. It's making me wonder, you know, what's really going on at this nightclub. Wait a minute. Did you guys see that? That was an old waiver. And they signed their name as God. Is that his waiver? The guy that is sitting across the table? Okay, we got two chances at a sawed off. These seem to be random. Two live rounds, two blanks. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a charge, or get, get a charge back. Shotgun deals two damage. Rack the shotgun, ends round on last shell. I don't know what to do here. Should I just try to... Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna shoot him. Come on, give me something! Was that a 50-50 again still? Handcuffs. Alright, now you're cheating. He gets to go again? Okay, I was about to say. So it should just be... It should be one live round then in there now, I think. So this should be a live round. Okay, good.
This also kind of looks like the sound room. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're getting some good luck with these. This is a really fun game. Three live rounds, two blanks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use these. We might as well, there's no real penalty for doing so. I mean, my best odds... The odds are it's gonna be a live round. Let me just take the chance here. Three live, two blank. I'm just getting real unlucky. I really needed that to hit him. Oh, there's a bunch of waiver forms over there on the left side. <sighs> so here we are, magnifying glass. What does that do? Very interesting. What does that do? I'm taking damage. Yeah. He was able to see, I guess. So, again, the odds are still in my favor of this hitting him. Okay, I'm getting some awful luck. Those are all live rounds. Those are all live rounds. Yep. Not over. Not over. Also, the fact that the shotgun just, like, magically regenerates... What kind of guy is this? <sighs> okay. Three live rounds, three blanks. And he's got two handcuffs. All right, let's try the beer. Okay. So odds are it's going to be a blank. And now, odds are it's gonna be a live round. So now I'm gonna pick this up and I start blasting. What? That was like a 75% chance. Oh, I'm toast. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, but now I'm taking damage here. What? Okay. So... That should be a live round then. I'm pretty sure. Come on. Blast him. Oh, oh how the turntables. This is such a cool experience. I can see why this took off. Um, this is also a very replayable game. And that should be a new round here. Okay, let's see. Cigarettes we can take. Oh, handcuffs we haven't gotten yet. Oh, come on. Give me the first turn. I think I get first turn automatically. All right. There is no way... There is absolutely no way that this is going to blank. Is this some kind of a sick joke? I should have handcuffed him. What am I doing? Does he get to see the next shot with that? Oh, okay, it's all live rounds. Why did you do that? He wasn't keeping track. <laughs> you weren't keeping track. What's this? The death round? Long last, we arrive at the final showdown. No more defibrillators. No more blood transfusions. Now, me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. And what is this? Connecting with defibrillator. 
Oh, okay, I see. Four items each. Handcuffs. Beer. <sighs> okay. Why are the last two all messed up? Oh, the last two are to cut the cords. Okay. Um, so, this brings us to... What to do here? The final showdown. Um, oh, I didn't look at the... Crap, I didn't look at the thing. Okay, let's go ahead and do the beer. Okay. Do another beer. Give me another blank. Yes! Okay. We're gonna handcuff him. Mm, he just voluntarily does it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna handsaw. I feel like my odds are really good here. Two blanks from the beers. One. Do I get another shot with it, or is it gonna regenerate? Yes, it regenerates. Okay. Okay. I think it's my turn again. Save those for later. And handcuffs. Cool. Uh, okay, it's a 50-50 split. They go in an undefined or a random order. 50-50 split here. Let's do... Um, I don't need a cigarette yet. Let's... Let's handcuff him. He's got... He's building up so many items. I'm going to shoot myself here. Blank. I think I get another chance, though. Blank. Blank. Okay. So we're still doing okay. I have not gotten a magnifying glass yet. I wonder if that's only an item for him. Because one thing that's weird about the magnifying glass is he breaks it and then looks through it. Which makes me think, like, what are you even doing? But I digress. This is a big risk here. I think I'm going to take the hacksaw, cut this off, and blast him. Come on. Give me some good luck. Oh, my God. Help me. And now he's got every item under the sun. Now it's his turn. So there I go. Very interesting, he says. So most of the rounds in there should be live rounds. Oh, I'm taking some major damage. Yep. Ouch. Yep. Okay, we're tied up. And I am trapped. It's gonna take a swig. How is this gonna end up? Very interesting, he says. Yeah, this is absolutely, absolutely going to hurt. This is gonna hit me. Yeah. I don't even think there are any blanks left in there, but I have the cigarettes. So, it's still a game, and we get four new items. Nice. Handcuffs. Oh, no, we we have the magnifying glass. Um, okay, two blanks, three live. Cool. No beers, though. So, let me use both of these. Might as well. I'm not sure if there's a benefit to saving certain items yet or not. I, I really don't know, but we'll see. 
Uh, check the current round in the chamber. Okay, we can do that. Blank. But we don't know the next one. Okay, lock him up. Dealer. Hit. Boom. The odds are still in my favor that it's going to be a live round. Okay. Unfortunately, now it's a 50-50 split on his end and he gets the magnifying glass. We're about to take some damage, but we're still ahead. Very interesting. See, we have to actually physically look in the chamber, but he's able to, to see it with the broken magnifying glass. This this guy has supernatural powers, and, and that that uh, document we saw makes me think... Okay. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Now we're losing. Are you ready? Am I? So now we don't have any electricity anymore. All right, dude. Um... Let's go ahead and beer me. Mm. Cuffs. He's got he's got one of those too. Let me just see what the next one is. Live round. I like that sound effect too. Okay, unfortunately, this is the best I can do, and we kind of just have to get lucky that he is going to miss his big shot. We really- oh, but he's going to be able to see it anyways. Yeah, I think- I think this might be it. Oh, no! His- his handcuffs! I forgot I cuffed him! So wait, what's left in the thing? There's no live rounds left. <laughs> Damn it! And where do I end up? Where is this? I totally miscalculated that. Oh, so close. What is this? It's like some weird... Interpretation of hell or something like that? You are dead. We're definitely going to be retrying. I wonder where it's going to put us at, though. Let's see. That's the real question. Okay, let me go ahead and get back to the final round. Oh, now he's saying I better not see you again. Okay, it puts us right at round three, luckily. Is he smiling this time, though? All right, anyways, let's go ahead and refocus. Okay, a few attempts later, and here we go, round three. I, I've had some absolutely abysmal luck playing this game, where I've just baffled at, at some of these draws I've gotten, but hey, that's the name of the game. He got three machetes? Alright. Yep, I know the drill. Crack it open, make it a 50-50. 
Or just make it only blanks. Sure. That's fine. Starting off strong. So we need to reload then. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, baby. Oh, this is good. I love this. Okay. 50-50 um, split, four blanks, four reds. So we're going to do that. Handcuffs, magnifying glass. Please be a live round. Boom. So this is going to be the tough question. Um, there's more blanks in there than lives. So now what do we do? Let's go ahead and shoot me. It'll be one if it hits. Yes. Okay. So not good. But he still has more damage. But he has cigarettes, so I guess it doesn't matter. I, I still... It's like playing the odds is hurting me, it seems. But those weren't crazy odds there. Very interesting. Yep, I'm about to take some serious damage here. Okay, he got rid of a blank. It should either be... I think there's still mostly blanks, though. So I'm hoping one of these... Okay, that's good. And this is probably a live round. So he's gonna... Go with that option. Could be a blank. No. That's okay. But now it's my turn. So I have lost track. We're going to just take this option and... and Try to shoot for the fences here. I'm really hoping... I'm really hoping this is a live round. Okay. Please give me a live round. Please give me a live round. Please give me a live round. I think there's one left in here. I think there's one live round left. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's it. This is brutal. Last one's a live round. Oh, never mind. New round. There were no live rounds left. I'm just dumb. It's not over. Okay, again, we're going to play the odds and we're going to lose on it, but that's okay. That's just part of what we're used to at this point. Two cigarettes. And I am going to handcuff him. I'm going to go with the odds on the first play, even though I know that every time we play the odds, it's not good for us. So this is probably going to be a mistake. Odds are this should hit, but it won't. It won't. It did. I spoke it into it. I secretly manifested. Very secretly. So, now it's a 50-50. Are you ready? I am. And we got a big lead. Big lead on G.O.D. So what can we do? I'm going to go for myself. Blank! So, one live, two blanks are left. Let's see what he goes with. I think he's gonna magnifying glass, beer. The cigarette doesn't work though. At least it didn't for me. All right, so it's a 50-50. Is that it?
We won? And what's the prize? I can't imagine what, what this would be. I mean, my thoughts are racing in terms of what this guy really is. Is this a nightclub some sort of purgatory? We, if you lose in this hellish game, you go to hell. If we win, do we, you know, attain heaven or whatever? I, I don't know. The guy definitely has some supernatural abilities. Money? Are you signing away your soul for the opportunity to win money? Is that what's happening? And you just head home with the shotgun. Congratulations, BG. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you can get a score. That is an awesome experience. Awesome experience. So... Oh, wow. Buck Shot Roulette. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, we have beaten Buckshot Roulette. Thank you, Pumpkin, for helping. You were very helpful during the playthrough. It's really these kinds of experiences that, again, I love showcasing on this channel. I know this is already a pretty popular experience in terms of the indie horror scene, but I'm just really impressed by the atmosphere and the extremely addictive gameplay loop that was pulled off here. Now, the game doesn't really give you too much of a story. I have some theories as to what might be going on here. I think that this is definitely some sort of godlike entity that has kind of holed up in this probably very real nightclub. And it looks like he's giving people opportunities to win life-changing money at the cost of wagering their soul. When you die, you go to some sort of hell or purgatory or something like that. And I think seeing that waiver that says God on there kind of, you know, gives you pause. No, is he really God? You know, who knows? I don't think so. I think he's some sort of powerful being that has control over souls or something like that. He definitely has some unusual abilities. He can see inside of the shotgun using a broken magnifying glass. He can regenerate part of the shotgun's uh, top there, and he doesn't seem to need any defibrillation. Defibrillation? Defibrillation? I have no idea how to pronounce that word. He doesn't seem to need any of that after he gets shot. So, really interesting stuff. This is an exceptional experience, and I can't wait to see more from this developer. Guys, I love you very much. Thank you for experiencing this game with me, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.